Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about some significant fraud that will occur in 2023. Here are seven developing scams that fraud specialists are keeping an eye on in 2023 and steps to avoid them. Number one, scam using cryptocurrency and romance. Scammers mix crypto scams with traditional romance scams acting as internet love interests to trick their victims into downloading an app and investing in bogus cryptocurrency accounts. They claim that they are even investing some of their own money into your fund, and the software shows data that appears to show your wealth increasing, but in reality, thieves are simply swiping your money. This is how you stay safe. Even if you consider yourself an experienced investor, examine each investment possibility thoroughly. People believe it will never happen to them, yet it does happen to a lot of people. Number two, payday loans. Criminals exploit inflation by proposing phony payday loans to assist workers in paying their obligations. Loan applicants must prepay. Criminals keep the money and the applicant gets nothing. Avoid anyone who invites you to pay a loan fee using a gift card or other non-traceable methods. Number three, one-time password bot scam. Credit reporting companies such as Experian cautions that cyber criminals use bots automated programs to fool customers into giving two-factor authentication codes supplied to them through text or email from banking institutions or from companies such as Amazon. If this transaction isn't yours, the bot will make a robocall or send a text from a bank requesting you to authorize a charge and provide the authentication code. The bot trying to log into your bank account needs the precautionary code the bank supplied to you. Never give authentication codes or other information to unsolicited phone calls or texts. Number four, student loan forgiveness fraud. After being stalled in court, the Biden administration's promise to cancel student loans is still being exploited by scammers. They build fake application sites to steal applicants' social security numbers and bank information, and occasionally they call targets to pressure them into applying and charge a fee. Use these steps. Track the proposed forgiveness program on the Department of Education's student aid webpage. Number five, dog buying fraud. Online puppy scammers target dog lovers. In one BBB case, a woman paid $850 for a Dalmatian puppy, then spent $725 for travel insurance and $615 for a particular box. The buyer lost $2,200 for a fake puppy. To keep safe, Visit an animal shelter first. Reverse image search any puppy you like on a website to make sure it's not stolen. Before paying, be sure to see the pet. Number six, check washing scam. Despite the rise of other payment methods, scammers still target checks. Check washing involves stealing checks from mailboxes and bathing them in household chemicals to remove the name and amount leaving blank places they may fill in. You may cash a $25 check for thousands. To be safe, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service suggests putting outgoing mail in blue collection boxes before the day's last pickup to avoid it sitting. If you're away, have the post office hold your mail or have a friend or neighbor pick it up. Number seven, free gift QR code fraud. This is a variant of the FBI Warren QR code fraud in which scammers paste bogus codes over real ones to take advantage of customers scanning barcodes to see restaurant menus or make purchases. Experience that scammers may call and offer a $100 gift card by sending a QR code to your phone. QR codes may lead to fraudulent websites. To be safe, if you receive a QR code unexpectedly, contact the sender to verify. 
use a verified phone number. So as you can see, scammers are still continuing to scam people in many ways. So make sure you watch out for scammers, protect yourself. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.